<coughs> today guys uh, today I will show you um, how to solve for the resultant of a of a um, distributed load on a beam um, this is our problem for today um, um, in this book engineering mechanics um, I got the problem so page <clears throat> so page 35 of the book problem 238 so the problem state <coughs> that the beam AB in figure P-238 supports a load which varies from an intensity of 50 pounds 50 pounds per feet to 200 pounds per feet calculate the magnitude and position of the resultant load hint replace the given load by a uniformly distributed load of 50 um, 50 pounds per feet plus a triangular load varying from 0 to a um, varying from 0 at A to 150 pounds per feet at B so that is our problem for today so but first um, I want to um, show you how to solve for this uh, resultant of a triangular um, loading and a rectangular loading on a beam so we we will solve for its resultant and the location of it so first um, for triangular loading as you can see a b so as you can see it has uh, intensity of 150 pounds per feet um, so our our beam is 12 feet so <clears throat> always remember that um, the resultant of a triangular loading will be just um, one half of the length of the beam or the length of the triangle so one half times um, 12 times the intensity of the uh, loading the highest intensity so uh, it is for for this triangular loading our um, intensity is 150 so um, therefore um, we can say that the resultant is just equal to the area of a regular triangle or a right triangle because as we know the area of right triangle is just one half of base times height so one half base and the height so our resultant is just one half <coughs> 12 times 150 so it is 900 so it is going down of course because as you can see it the triangular loading is uh, pointing downwards but we don't know um, the the location of the this resultant in this triangle so <clears throat> How would we know the the location of the the this um, resultant? So, um, in always in a triangle loading, um, we can make a triangle here. Always, the resultant of a triangle loading triangular loading would be um two-third and a one-third of the triangle so from a to the 900 it would it will be 
two third and from the load uh, the resultant to the B is the one third so in this problem it is just one a uh, one third of 12 and a two third of 12 so one third of 12 so it is 4 meaning one third of 12 it is um, 4 from to the left of B so it will be maybe here so our resultant for this triangle triangular loading would fall here so it, the R so in the bottom 900 pounds going down and it just equal to so this is um, 4 because 1 third of 12 is 4 then this is B this is A <coughs> And of course, the two third, the two third of twelve is just equal to eight, right? So this is twelve feet. So all in all, <coughs> the whole beam is twelve. So that's how you fold, solve for the resultant of a triangular loading and to solve its <coughs> location on the beam. So, the resultant is 900 pounds, um, 2 third of 12 or 8, 8 feet from A, or 4 feet to the left of B. So, then again, next is the resultant for a triangle, a uh, rectangular loading. So, <clears throat> The resultant for um, rectangular loading is just equal to the base of the rectangular load, which is 12 times the intensity, 150 pounds. So, <coughs> 12 times 150 is um, One thousand eight hundred. One thousand. In this problem, it is one thousand eight hundred going down. Still, this going down. And to solve for its location, always, if it is a uniformly distributed load or a rectangular loading, it will always be the half of the base. In this case, it is just equal to the 6 from both sides. So, the half 1800. So, 6 feet. The distance is just equal to 1 half of the base. The base or equals 1 half of 12 to six feet so <clears throat> that's how you solve for the location of uh, uh, trying a uh, rectangular loading on a beam so the resultant is just equal to the base times the intensity 1800 and the distance is just equals to the um, the half of the base so but remember um, you should always remember that the base um, is the the base is the is the length of the uh, uniform load or the loading on the beam not the base of the beam so for example in this in this um 
loading, the resultant would fall here. So it is two feet and two feet because that is four. Not not um. You will not consider uh, the base of the whole beam. You just consider the base of the load. The same thing um here on the rectangular uh, I mean the triangular loading you will always consider the length just the length of the loading for example if you have this problem four four and three so the resultant will just fall here um one third of four and two third of four two third of four and one third of four here you will just consider the base of the triangular loading not the whole beam so that is how you solve for <coughs> the resultant and the location of uh, distributed loading on a beam so now we can proceed to our um, problem on the book I mean in the book so here as you can see this, uh, the problem is just the combination of the two loading as you can see here um, the book gives us a hint replace the given loading by a uniformly distributed load of 50 pounds per feet plus a triangular load varying from 0 at A to 150 feet at B so the book um, says that we would like to there separate that so it means the rec um, rectangular loading would have one pip I mean 50 50 pounds per feet while the rectangular because all in all this is a, a 200 pounds per feet the remaining will just be 150 pounds per feet so then we can just use um, what we learned from the previous problems so <coughs> um, in here we have 50 pounds then this is 12 so the resultant of the rectangular resultant of rectangular is just equal to 50 times 12 so we have 600 pounds going down then the triangular RT rectangular resultant of rectangular is just one half of the base times the intensity so we have still 900 pounds going down <clears throat> so all in all we have the the resultant we have a uh, 1500 pounds going down so pounds so as we know the resultant for rectangular would fall in the middle so this is the 600 6 feet from A then we also know that the resultant of rectangular I mean triangular loading will be just one third or two third of 12 so still so this is 8 feet and 4 feet because one third one third of twelve is four and two third of twelve is eight 
now um, we know that the resultant of the two um, resultants is or the two forces will be just um, 1500 but we don't know where um, it is located um, on the beam so <clears throat> we can um, sum up moment of each forces from um, to um, a uh, point A or point B so <clears throat> you can decide where do you want to sum up moments so in this case I would like to sum up moment to point A so sum up moment point A is equal to <clears throat> 600 positive times 6 feet um, plus 900 times 8 feet so our moment is just equal to Ten thousand eight hundred LB feet. So we already have the moment, and we know the formula for um moment is uh, force times distance. So we can now solve for the distance of the this the this resultant the resultant of two um um loadings. So. Um, just derive this formula D is just equal to moment over force so moment is 10,800 over our force or, or the grand resultant of 1,500 equals 10,800 divided by 1,5 so it's 7.2 feet to the left so feet to the left uh, to the right of A to the right of A um, how would we know if 7.2 is to the left or to the right of A um, we can see our resultant so if it is a negative then it will be to the left of point A going to the left but if it is a positive so it is to the right of point A so why point A because that is our um, moment center or um, where we sum up our moments so so we so that's how we can locate the location of our the resultant of this loading so it is 7.2 7.2 I think here of 1500 pounds so it is 7.2 to the right of A and 4.8 to the left left of B so <coughs> that's how you solve for the resultant of um, this loading <coughs> so that is the whole, my whole solution so if you notice some error and mistake in my explanation and in my solution please don't hesitate to comment down below so I can check it and avoid um, making it again so thanks for watching and please do subscribe thank you